I'd like to say to you that the Christian had no power to heal the sick. We don't do no healing. If we could do healing, we will empty. Only Jesus does the healing through us. How much of power does the Quran has? You like the Bible. The Quran has no power on earth to change a person's life. And hear me out. You see, this is the proof. Hi guys, you welcome back. Thanks so much for clicking. Hope you guys are doing great. So this man claims that the Bible saves, but the Quran is a dead book. Let's listen to Ahmed Dad's point of view. Let's check it out. Mr. Didat, I'd like to say to you that the Christian had no power to heal the sick. We don't do no healing. If we could do healing, we will empty RK Khan's hospital. And if we could do healing, we will empty every hospital in the world. We don't do the healing. Only Jesus does the healing through us. And I want to say something that relating to the topic I would like, like to ask the chairman if I could. No, you, you, you are allowed to ask, ask questions at this stage. Not to make statements. It's great to make matters to the public and gave you. Well, I won't be long. I just want to make one statement. You keep us here for the entire time. But I have not asked this question. Just not even half a minute. I'm sure Mr. Dirat would like to hear what I'm going to say. Mr. Yes, Dirat? Sir. You may ask questions, not make statements. Okay. I'm afraid I have to ask the questions. Unless you want to ask the statement in the form of a question, that I'll accept it. Do you like to phrase your statement in the form of a question? Alright, I'd like to ask him a question. How much of power does the Quran has to save a person's life, give him a joy and a reason for living like the Bible? And just one more thing before you answer me, Mr. Dirat. The Quran has no power on earth to change a person's life. And hear me out. It is a dead book. It is unreachable, unidentified. Okay, thank you, Mr. Girard, and hope it sink into your spirit. Thank you. Wow. Wow. It was so direct. Shh, 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 shh. Silence, please. Silence, please. You see, this is the proof. This is the proof. This is not unique to this hall. I delivered the same talk in Johannesburg, and there were droves and droves of Christians, <gasps> missionaries. And we allowed them one full hour for questioning. And there was not one question on what I had said. There is no Christian born who can contradict anything that I have said tonight. There isn't one born. Irrefutable evidence I have given you. Now you have to come and tell me that this chiru was a flying saucer. Or it was a, a helicopter. Tell me. Tell us. Tell these people here. No, there isn't. This is what happens. Allah describes it to us in the Holy Quran. When truth is hurled against falsehood, it knocks out its brains. No questions. I tell you, I guarantee there's not, there are no questions. No questions. This is a lesson for the Muslims. That look, Allah has given you that power. I tell you, there isn't a Christian born who can answer what we have presented tonight. That this is not befitting the majesty of God, the language, the stories. I, I haven't come out with the whole. I just put them aside. I said, look, I'd rather give you a chance in case you said, look, this guy spoke for two hours and he's not giving us any chance. There's hardly any questioner. Look at this. They droves and droves in Cape Town, droves and droves. And they set the words in the, through the grapevine. Don't go and ask these that questions. You're going to make a fool of yourself. So they don't want to come forward. So you make charges. What has the Quran done? So look, Islam through the Quran, through this one verse, it eliminated four major evils. One verse. I quote, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, say oh you who believe, innam al-hamru, most certainly intoxicants, wal maysiru and gambling, wal ansabu and fortune telling, wal aslamu and idol worship. Shaitan are an abomination of Satan's handiwork. When this verse was revealed, wine barrels were emptied in the streets of Medina, never to be refilled. The most perfect, complete, and lasting revolution in the history of mankind. One verse, and the evil was abolished for good. No more idol worship, no more uh, fortune telling, no more alcohol. This one verse created the biggest society of tea totalers in the world. The Muslims are the biggest society of people who don't imbibe alcohol. Look, this one verse did it. What are you talking about, dead book? 
this book with all your miracles with all your miracles ask swagatna with all his miracles you worship him i know the my indian christian brother the lies that he has been speaking jim baker the lies government the lies can't you see bluff big bluff what are you talking about look in south africa alcoholic consumption statistics statistics they tell us that the muslim is the lowest alcoholic consumption in the country these are your statistics they have no statistics for africans they have no statistics for indians but they say the colored community five times the amount of alcoholics as any other race in the country five times the amount the malay is a cut is a muslim that's the identity The Muslim Malay, the lowest in the country, the Christian colored, five times the amount of any other race in the country. This is what your book has done. I said eight percent of the white people who read this book incest, incest, incest are committing creating are committing incest. Thirteen percent of the American people are committing incest. What are you talking about changing your life? I want to know what life it has changed. What is this? Come forward. Look, I said. that what i have presented to you i presented a case to you i said look this is not befitting god this is not the word of god contradictions abound you say one or none 36000 difference 440 jesus come on man come on and you want to read you read the verse chapter 16 25 read it no you don't know the book this is not from the bible he doesn't read the bible he's a newborn christian he's a new christian he doesn't read the bible jesus saved him and it heals people what is this i have spoken for an hour and a half were you listening was my english too hard on your ears what is it what has happened to you no the quran gave the answer brains is knocked out come forward let's see these brothers here if you have any question on the subject come welcome How many years did that society get transformed? Twenty-three years. This is even Orientalist agree. Okay, the Quran is being claimed as revelation. I won't say it is revelation from the Kafir's point of view. We know it's revelation. He says it's being claimed as revelation at his age of forty, and it stops at the age of what? Sixty-three. Twenty-three years. In twenty-three years, this man starts at single, single-handedly, sing, one person. And by the end of these twenty-three years. What change have these words and this man, this speaker, this speech, and this style of speech? What have they influenced? You see, the way people eat, did it change? The way people sleep, did that change? Did the way people deal with their family change? Did the way people schedule their day change? Did the way people speak to each other change? Did the way they do business change? Did the way they go to the bathroom change? Did the way they dress change? The question isn't what changed. You know what the question is? What didn't change? Everything changed. Everything changed. Whenever there's "quote unquote" revolution in society, it's either economic or it's political, right? There's a there's a political change. There's an economic change. There's a military change. But the way people live on a day-to-day -day basis that doesn't change. They don't change the way they deal with their families, depending on the government changing. or new system coming into power that's still the same they're still the same person but this change that the quran brought unparalleled in human history so this man didn't answer this question i don't know he was just off point for me it was really off point is his explanation was not it it was like why will you come and be asking this question where as we are talking about the fact that the bible is being contradicted the bible has contradiction this is this that's why it's not the word of god is the quran a miracle and how can it be a miracle that's what the guy wanted to know so the man asked if the bible is not the word of god how come god is using people mighty men of god through jesus people are receiving their healing people are getting testimonies the bible is transforming lives so how and it was just going back and forth so 
I don't know. I don't even know what to say because I'm I'm just speechless, guys. I, 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 what I was expecting is not what Amelida spoke about. I was expecting him to also tell us that okay, the Quran is also this. Okay, okay. I, because normally I believe Muslims don't believe in miracles. When it comes to you saying that oh, healing the sick, you know. All those kind of miracles, they don't believe in it. They believe that Quran alone is a miracle. If you read the Quran, you receive your miracle. That's what they believe in. But the guy is just trying to let Amelita know that for you to say that this Bible is not the word of God. So why is it that God is using people? Why are people testifying? Why are people giving testimony that their life has been transformed and their life changed? I'm a witness to it. So I'm not saying that all prophets are from god but i'm saying that i have witnessed some that you know is a proof that she, jesus actually saves jesus saves through jesus people receive their healing through jesus some great men of god that are called by god god used them to liberate lives so he wanted to know if something like that also happens in islam in quran is Quran that powerful when it comes to the things of God? And I know it's something that Muslims don't really believe in. At least it should have been straightforward that no, we don't believe in this. And there was a video that I even watched that they said that Quran is a miracle. So, like, it should have been straightforward and say that okay, we don't believe in such miracle, but the Quran is a miracle because when you read the Quran, you get your miracle. You get it. But the other man. No, my Ali is talking about the fact that since the Quran was never changed, since the Quran was predestined, everything about Quran has been there from the time being. You know, Quran does not have a contradiction. That is to say, Quran saves and is not a dead book. That's what that message is trying to say. But that was a beautiful one. This is just my opinion. I don't have anything against any religion. I don't have anything against. Muslims, I don't have anything to say against Christians or any other religion. I'm just saying it based on my experience and based on how I feel concerning this video. So please, guys, it's just my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thing. The floor is open. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. I'll be reading your your comments and getting to know what you have to say regarding this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Besides receiving the notification bell, turn it down so that whenever I upload, you'll be the first person to be notified. Like, share, comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.